All right, here we go. So when you're ready, if you'd like, you could, you could either sit on the floor, as I'm doing right now, or feel free to sit in a chair. You could do these, these movements uh, either on the floor or in a chair. You're total, totally welcome to try it either way. And um, if you'd like, maybe, maybe we could start just kind of rocking a little bit side to side. Or well, maybe we could try rocking a little bit side to side and see how that feels for you. And you have a choice here. You can rock left and right, or you might choose to rock forward and backward. So you have a choice. You have a choice here. You can go forward and backward, or you might choose to go side to side. Yeah, so either way, either way, just kind of getting any, you might notice some sensations where your, where your legs are meeting the floor or the chair. You might notice some sensations in your legs as you're, as you're rocking forward and backward or side to side. Okay. And then when you're ready, see if you can perhaps come to what feels like center for you. Maybe noticing the flow of your breathing. You might notice your breath. You might notice the flow of your breathing. Maybe taking in a little bit more air if you'd like, just like maybe breathing in a little bit more air and breathing out a little bit longer breath if you'd like. And then if you're interested, we could try doing some movements with our arms maybe synchronizing with our breathing. So this movement is just a up down, up down movement. And so I'm just breathing in as I lift my arms and breathing out as I lower my arms. So I'm, I'm linking the movement of my arms with my breathing as I do this. You're welcome also, you have a choice here you don't have to link the movement of your arms with your breathing. So one way to do this maybe is to breathe in as you lift your arms up and breathe out as you lower your arms down. Another way to do this is to simply move your arms up and down without connecting it with your breath. Okay, we'll just do that maybe another five or 10 seconds. Maybe another five or 10 seconds if you'd like. And then when you're ready, feel free to rest your arms a moment. Readjust your, your you know, see how, you're, see how it feels to be sitting, how you're sitting right now. If you need to adjust, if you need to change change the uh, placement of your legs, or to switch to a chair, feel free to do that. Okay, the next movement is to bring our hands together, just kind of noticing, perhaps, perhaps pressing your hands together, like feeling the sensation in your palms as you push your palms together. And then as you breathe in, you're welcome to reach your arms out sideways, and breathe out and bringing your palms back together. Just breathing in and breathing out. And you decide how wide to make your arms go. It's your choice. You could make this a smaller movement if you want. You could make this a smaller movement. Or if you want to, you might choose to make this a larger movement. You might choose to make this a larger movement. It's really up to you to decide that. Sometimes you can do them both, you can do it both ways if you want, and then make a decision based on how it feels in your body. You can make a decision based on how the muscles feel in your body. 
Maybe doing this another for a count of five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yeah. So um, take a moment just to rest. And at any time during this class, if you need to lay down, if you want to lie down on your mat, you know, feel free to stretch your legs out and lie down if you'd like to. At any time in the class, you can do that. Let's try one more arm movement, and perhaps you could link this with your breathing if you want to. So if you decide to do this arm movement, just kind of bringing our arms out to the sides and up over our head. And then reaching our arms out to the sides and back down. So on your in-breath, breathing in, breathing in and lifting your arms up and breathing out and lowering your arms down. So here too, you have a choice. You could possibly link the movement of your arms with your breathing. Or the second option, and it's totally fine to do this second option, is to not link the movement of your arms with your breathing. I'm just moving on. We'll just do this maybe for a count of five, four, three, two, one, and then rest. You know, feel free to rest. See if you notice any changes in how you feel in your arms, in the muscles of your arms. You might notice some shifts or changes there. And then um, we could try some neck rolls, if you like. Do some neck rolls while we're seated here. And again, here's an opportunity while we're kind of transitioning into neck rolls. You, you're welcome to shift your, your, the, the placement of your legs. You could sit in a chair if you'd like or if you'd like to lie down, that's totally okay too. Okay, so if you'd like to try these neck rolls, just feel free to try lowering your chin towards your sternum. And when you do that, you might notice some sensation in the back of your, of your neck, like some pulling there. You might feel some pulling in the muscles of the back of your neck as you lower your chin down. And then lift, feel free to lift your, your chin towards one shoulder and then back down and if you'd like, over to the other shoulder. So making like a, like a, uh, a U shape with my chin, shape of the letter U. Just bringing my chin down to one, Bring my, my chin to one shoulder, then down towards my sternum and up to my other shoulder. Just going at your own pace. Feel free to go ahead and, and noticing any sensations in your neck as you're moving your neck. Noticing any sensations in your neck. We'll just do this for a count of five. Four, three, two, one. Okay. From here, if you'd like to, we could transition to standing up. So if you want to try just kind of coming on to, you know, if you're sitting down on the floor, you could bring your feet to the to the floor and maybe use your use your hands to help you back up. Use your arms and legs. Adjust the uh, camera here a little bit. All right, and then um, you can try some shoulder shoulder movements, some shoulder uh, shoulder rolls. So one way to do this is to place your your fingers on your shoulders and kind of circling, making a circular motion with your elbows, and at any point here, you can change the direction. This could be 
These could be forward circles or backward circles. You could change the direction of your circles at any time. And if you choose to, you if, if it's uncomfortable for you to be standing up, if that doesn't, that doesn't if that's not working for your body, you might choose to sit down on the floor again or sit in a chair. So check in and see how your body is responding to standing up. And if you want to sit down, you're welcome to do that. Just kind of circling my elbows around. And again, in either direction, you're welcome to go in either direction. You decide how big of a circle to make. So this could be a, you could make a large circle where your elbows are kind of touching together. You know, you could make a large circle where your elbows are touching together, or you might choose to make this a smaller, a smaller circle. It's the small movement in your shoulders. And then well, maybe continuing for a count of three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so um, 